Welcome, Symposiast. My recent journey through Japan, which culminated in a deeply moving retreat at the Koyasan Siukubo Echoin Temple on Mount Koya, has impacted my appreciation for Shingon Esoteric Buddhism. This experience, nestled in the serene embrace of Mount Koya's ancient forests and secret sites, offered me not only a retreat from the bustle of everyday life, but a profound immersion into the living heart of Shingon's esoteric practice. It was there amid the tranquility and palpable spiritual presence, that I found a deeper interest into the teachings of Kukai and the essence of Shingon Buddhism. This journey has inspired me to delve deeper into Shingon Esoteric Buddhism and share this treasure trove of spiritual wisdom with you. Shingon Buddhism, with its mystical rituals and symbolic practices, offers its own take on not just the nature of enlightenment, but the very fabric of the universe itself which is seen as a dynamic interplay of cosmic forces that can be harnessed and understood through these esoteric practices. The seeds of Shingon Buddhism were sown in Japan's rich spiritual soil in the early 9th century, a period marked by flourishing of cultural and religious exchange. The architect of this esoteric tradition was Kukai, known posthumously as Kobo Daishi. His pivotal journey to China in 804 CE and the teachings he received under the tutelage of the master Huiguo promised a direct experience of enlightenment through intricate rituals such as the Goma fire ceremony and meditative practices like Ajikan meditation which I have both experienced during my retreat. Returning to Japan, Kukai brought with him not only sacred texts and rituals, but a new vision of Buddhism that integrated the esoteric with the exoteric, the mystical with the mundane, establishing Mount Koya as the spiritual heartland of Shingon Buddhism. Kukai's legacy extends far beyond the religious, influencing Japanese art, language, and education, embodying the Shingon belief in the unity of all aspects of life and spirituality. His work illustrates the esoteric principle that enlightenment is not a distinct reality, but one that permeates every facet of our existence. But before we dive in, I'd love to remind you to sign up for my newsletter. Don't rely on the capricious algorithm and social media platforms that could shut down whenever they decide. By signing up for my newsletter, you will always be up to date with my work and will get access to exclusive content, pictures, insights, and academic research. You will find the link in the bio, the cards, the info box, and a pinned comment. You will also find all the ways to support Angela's Symposium as this project is brought to you by you. Check out all the services I offer on drangelapuka.com and join my inner symposium on Patreon, Coffee, or YouTube memberships. And thank you to the generous souls who make this knowledge available to all. Now, let the symposium begin. Hello, Symposiast. I'm Dr. Angela Puka, Religious Studies PhD, and this is your online resource for the academic study of magic esotericism, paganism, shamanism, and all things occult, including esoteric Buddhism. As we embark on our exploration of Shingon esoteric Buddhism, we are not merely tracing the contours of a religious tradition, but are stepping into a realm where spirituality intertwines with art, culture, and the profound pursuit of enlightenment. Shingon Buddhism, with its mystical rituals and symbolic practices, offers its own interesting perspective on not just the nature of enlightenment, but the very fabric of the universe itself. As I mentioned in the introduction, the seeds of Shingon Buddhism were sown in Japan's rich spiritual soil and date back to the early 9th century, uh, when there was such a, a rich 
and flourishing cultural and religious exchange. And the initiator of this esoteric tradition was Kukai. It was his journey to China in 804 on a government-sponsored mission that really marked a pivotal point. Under the tutelage of the master Huiguo, Kukai delved into the depths of esoteric teachings, which promised a direct experience of enlightenment through intricate rituals such as the Goma fire ritual and meditative practices like Mikyo meditation. <laughs> Returning to Japan, Kukai did not merely bring back texts and rituals. He brought a new vision of Buddhism that integrated the esoteric and the exoteric. Establishing Mount Koya as the spiritual heartland of Shingon Buddhism, he laid the foundations for a tradition that would deeply influence Japanese spirituality and culture. Kukai's legacy is immense, stretching beyond the religious to influence Japanese art, language, and and education. His contributions to developing the Kana syllabary democratized reading and writing, making sacred texts accessible to the masses. For instance, the use of Kana in the famous tale of Genji is a testament to his influence. As a scholar, artist, and spiritual leader, Kukai embodied the Shingon belief in the unity of all aspects of life and spirituality. His work illustrates illustrates the esoteric principle that enlightenment is not a distant reality, but one that permeates every facet of our existence. My personal pilgrimage to Mount Koya in February 2024 offered a tangible connection to the esoteric practices and spiritual legacy of Kukai. Walking the forested paths surrounded by the tranquility of nature and the palpable presence of centuries of devotion, I was overwhelmed by a sense of peace and unity. The experience was a profound testament to the teachings of Kukai, where the mundane and the spiritual are not separate entities, but intertwined in every aspect of life. Mount Koya is not just a place, but a living testament to the Shingon tradition, a space where practitioners continue to seek and experience enlightenment. The experience of being there, participating in rituals and meditations, brings to life the teachings of Shingon Buddhism, offering a direct encounter with the tradition's spiritual essence. Now, let's cover the theoretical foundations of Shingon Buddhism. At its core, Shingon Buddhism is an intricate system that melds ritual, mantra, and meditation with profound doctrinal insights, aiming to expedite the path to enlightenment. We are now going to explore these foundational principles, offering a window into the spiritual and intellectual framework of Shingon. At the heart of Shingon Buddhism lies a distinction between the esoteric, Mikyo, and the exoteric, Kengyo. Esoteric practices emphasize direct, experiential understanding of the truth, facilitated through rituals, mantras, and visualizations. This approach contrasts sharply with the philosophical discourse and meditative practices predominant in exoteric Buddhism. The esoteric path posits that enlightenment is not a distant goal, but a present reality accessible through specific transformative practices. Central to Shingon's doctrinal foundation is the concept of two truths, the ultimate truth, Dharmakaya, and the conventional truth. The phenomenal word. Unlike some Buddhist traditions that view the ultimate and conventional as dichotomous, Shingon posits that they are two facets of the same reality. This non dualistic perspective is vividly embodied in the figure of Mahavairochana Buddha, who represents the ultimate truth and whose presence permeates all of existence. The practitioner aims to realize this non duality within oneself, achieving enlightenment by recognizing the innate Buddhahood 
present in all beings. The Mahavairochana Sutra is paramount in Shingon Buddhism, serving as the doctrinal bedrock upon which its practices are built. This text introduces the mandala as a cosmic diagram, the mantra as the sound body of the Buddha, and mudras as symbolic gestures, each serving as a means to access the Buddha's enlightenment. The Sutra teaches that through these practices, practitioners can align themselves with the cosmic order embodied by Mahavairochana, thus realizing their inherent Buddhahood. Shingon Buddhism elevates ritual and mantra to central elements of its practice. Rituals are not mere formalities, but are understood as dynamic engagements with the cosmic reality. Through the chanting of mantras, practitioners invoke the power and presence of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, facilitating a profound transformation of consciousness. These practices are not just symbolic, but are seen as actual means of embodying and realizing the ultimate truth. Another distinctive aspect of Shingon is its emphasis on direct transmission from master to disciple. This guru-disciple relationship is crucial, as the esoteric teachings and practices are traditionally not written down, but transmitted orally. This method ensures the integrity of the teachings and the readiness of the practitioner, preserving the depth and power of the esoteric practices across generations. There are a rich variety of esoteric practices in Shingon Buddhism that serve as vehicles for spiritual transformation and enlightenment. These practices, deeply symbolic and meticulously executed, are designed to awaken the practitioner to the ultimate reality of Buddhahood inherent within. Let's now delve into the core esoteric practices of Shingon Buddhism, offering insights into their significance and the ways they facilitate a direct encounter with the sacred. Central to Shingon practice is the use of mandalas, intricate cosmic diagrams that represent the universe and the enlightened beings within it. The most significant of these are the womb word, Taizokai, and the diamond word, Kangokai mandalas. These mandalas are not mere artistic representations, but are viewed as actual manifestations of the universe's spiritual dimension. Through meditation on the mandalas, practitioners engage with a profound dialogue with these cosmic realities, embodying the enlightened qualities of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas depicted therein. Mantras, or sacred chants, are another cornerstone of Shingon practice. Each mantra is believed to be the sound embodiment of a specific Buddha or Bodhisattva, containing their essence and spirit power. By reciting mantras, practitioners aim to align themselves with these divine energies, facilitating a transformation of consciousness. The chanting of mantras is not a passive act, but an active engagement with the vibrational reality of enlightenment. Mudras, symbolic hand gestures, accompany mantra recitation and meditation on the mandalas. Each mudra is associated with a particular deity and embodies specific spiritual qualities or actions. Through the performance of mudras, practitioners seek to embody the enlightened presence of the Buddhas further, creating a physical connection to the spiritual truths they seek to realize. Mudras, in conjunction with mantras and mandalas, form a triad of practice that engage the practitioner's body, speech, and mind in the esoteric path. A distinctive feature of Shingon Buddhism is the importance of initiation and empowerment ceremonies, also known as abhiseka. These ceremonies mark the practitioner's formal entry into the esoteric path, transmitting the secret teachings and rituals from master to disciple. The abhiseka serves not only as a rite of passage, but as a profound 
profound spiritual awakening, during which the practitioner is endowed with the spiritual authority and protection necessary for their journey. This direct transmission ensures the integrity of the teachings and the personal guidance essential for navigating the esoteric practices. Shingon esoteric practices extend beyond formal ritual and meditation to encompass the entirety of the practitioner's life. The ultimate aim is the realization of Buddhahood in this very body, Sokushin Yobutsu, a state of enlightenment that permeates every action and moment. This holistic approach underscores the non-duality of the sacred and the mundane, inviting practitioners to embody the enlightened reality in all aspects of their existence. The esoteric practices of Shingon Buddhism offer a direct path to enlightenment, engaging the practitioner's entire being in a transformative process. Process. Through the disciplined engagement with mandalas, mantras, and mudras, alongside the pivotal experience of initiation, practitioners are guided towards realizing their innate Buddhahood. Now, let's talk about the differences between esoteric and exoteric Buddhism. Based on everything that we have said so far, it becomes evident that Shingon's esoteric practices offer a distinct path from the more widely known exoteric traditions of Buddhism. This divergence is not merely in rituals and practices, but extends to the underlying philosophical perspectives, goals of spiritual practice, and methods of transmission. So let's now cover the key differences between Shingon's esoteric approach and the exoteric traditions, providing a deeper understanding of Shingon's unique place within the broader Buddhist landscape. One of the fundamental differences lies in the approach to understanding and achieving enlightenment. Exoteric Buddhism often emphasizes the study and interpretation of scriptures as a path to enlightenment, advocating a gradual process of learning, moral discipline, and meditation. This, of course, varies depending on the Buddhist tradition, but you find that these elements are important in quite a few exoteric traditions. In contrast, Shingon Buddhism prioritizes direct experience of enlightenment through esoteric practices like mantra, meditation, and mandalas, as we have discussed, and also the ritual participation. This direct approach is based on the belief that enlightenment is an inherent quality that can be awakened here and now rather than something that you have to achieve gradually through prolonged study and practice. While ritual and symbolism play a role in many Buddhist traditions, they are especially central in Shingon Buddhism. Shingon rituals characterized by elaborate ceremonies involving uh, mantras, mudras, and mandalas engage the practitioner's entire being, body, speech, and mind in the process of spiritual awakening. These practices are designed to bring about a transformation transformation of consciousness, allowing practitioners to experience the non-dual nature of reality directly. The sensory and symbolic richness of Shingon's rituals contrast with the more austere meditative practices typical of many exoteric schools. Another significant difference is the role of the guru or master in the spiritual journey. In Shingon Buddhism, the relationship between the guru and disciple is paramount. As the esoteric teachings and practices are transmitted directly from master to disciple in a lineage that traces back to Kukai himself. This direct transmission ensures the integrity and purity of the teachings and provides the practitioner with personalized guidance and empowerment. In contrast, exoteric Buddhism often emphasizes individual study of the scriptures and personal meditation practice with less emphasis on the guru-disciple relationship. Now, let's talk about the goal of the practice. Shingon Buddhism articulates the goal of achieving Buddhahood in this very body, Sokushin Yobutsu, an idea that underscores the immediacy and accessibility of enlightenment. This concept suggests that through the correct application of historic practices, practitioners can realize their inherent Buddhahood within their current lifetime and physical form. This contrasts with many exoteric traditions where enlightenment is often viewed as the culmination of many lifetimes of practice and moral culture. 
cultivation. To sum it up, Shingon Buddhism presents a unique and compelling path within the broader Buddhist tradition, characterized by its emphasis on direct experience, ritual engagement, the central role of the guru, and the immediacy of enlightenment. These distinctions highlight Shingon's unique approach to spiritual practice and its contribution to the diversity of Buddhist paths to enlightenment. The enduring legacy of Shingon Buddhism, from its inception by Kukai in the 9th century to its contemporary practice, underscores its relevance and adaptability. Kukai's visionary integration of ritual, meditation, and philosophical inquiry created a holistic spiritual practice that continues to inspire and guide practitioners towards enlightenment. The vibrant tradition of Shingon Buddhism, with its profound rituals and teachings, remains a testament to the enduring power of esoteric spiritual practice. Reflecting on the path of Shingon esoteric Buddhism encourages us to consider the ways in which spiritual practice can transform our understanding of ourselves and the world. The tradition invites practitioners to engage deeply with the mysteries of existence through rituals and practices that have been refined over centuries. In doing so, Shingon Buddhism challenges practitioners to transcend their limited perspectives, inviting a direct encounter with the ultimate reality that is both immanent and transcendent. Shingon Buddhism's rich heritage and its emphasis on experiential knowledge and enlightenment contribute significantly to the global spiritual dialogue. By offering a path that is deeply rooted in tradition yet profoundly relevant to contemporary life, Shingon invites a re-evaluation of our spiritual priorities and practices. Its teachings on the non-duality of enlightenment and the phenomenal word offer a perspective that can bridge cultural and religious divides, promoting a deeper understanding of our shared human condition. This is it for today's video. If you watched until this point, leave me the praying hands emoji. Now, my dear symposiast, this project of delivering free academic knowledge based on peer-reviewed scholarship can only exist thanks to your support. So if you have the means and want to offer this knowledge to all, please consider supporting my work with a one-off PayPal donation by joining the membership, my inner symposium on Patreon, super thanking me in the comments, or checking out my services at drangelapuka.com. You can book private lectures, tutoring sessions, commission a video, and much more. All links are in a pinned comment and in the info box. Also, don't forget to sign up for my newsletter to get to know me better through my personal reflections and ponderings over my academic work and on all things esoteric. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell to be notified of any new release, and leave me a comment letting me know your thoughts on this episode. Thank you all so much for being here and stay tuned for all the academic fun. Bye for now. Today.